Hey, what's up? It's almost Christmas and this year, finally, I decided to make panettone. It's one of the most difficult Italian bread recipe ever. It's sweet, tasty, beautiful, fluffy, all of the good things together. And since I'm going to do it in proper way, I decided to give Joshua Wisman recipe a try. What's up, man? But the bad news is I don't have a stand mixer. So this is going to be a mess. Let's get messy this Christmas, shall we? First thing first, we need a super active starter. And we are going to make stiff starter. Simply just reduce the hydration of our starter. You need to make this 12 hours in advance. 12 grams starter, 12 gram water, and 24 grams of flour. Like this. Into the jar, let it rest for 12 hours. 12 hours later. Look at it. Time to mix our first dough. Check the caption. Mix 203 grams of water with your sieve starter. Another bad news, I don't have super strong flour, but they said it's strong, so I'm fine. Add 350 gram of your strongest flour. Bring it together. When it's come together, time to add the egg yolk. One by one, three big egg yolk. If you have a stand mixer, be my guest and please use it. This is madness. When it comes together, time to add butter. 83 gram softened butter. Rub your surface with the butter, prevent sticking and add the butter little by little. If you add all the butter in once, the dough will tear apart and you can handle it. So make sure you add little by little and knead it however you like. Use all of the techniques you know. Or use a stand mixer. Window paint test can help you a lot. You can do slap and fold if the dough was strong. Continue kneading and round it up. Does it really worth it? We will see. One little tip. From its look, I can tell the amount of butter I put inside the dough was enough for this flour. So I decided to reduce 20 grams of butter for this recipe. Sorry, Joshua. I didn't mean to disappoint you. And now I'm going to let this bad boy rest for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to knead it again and let it rest for 10 to 12 hours. So let's go back to this. Again, check the gluten. Knead it and knead it and knead it. Slap that bad boys and let it rest for 12 hours. I'm gonna let it proof three hours on the counter, then transfer it into the fridge and let it proof for 12 to 14 hours. Time to make candied orange peels. Try to peel it off thinly and nicely like so. Remove the excess wine for less bitterness, like so. Bring them to boil, strain it, and rinse it with water. This is called blanching technique. Once release its bitterness, two cups of sugar and two cups of water. Cook until it's jammy and beautiful like this. First though also done its fermentation. Soak the raisins. Add 168 gram of flour and 6 gram of salt to your first dough. This would be the final dough. Now time to add two egg yolks one by one while you are mixing it with your beautiful hands. Once it's developed, go ahead and add vanilla bean, 82 gram of sugar and 16 gram of honey, little by little. After it comes together, bring it on the surface and time to add butter. Everything is the same as the first dough. If you are a freak like me, you will love it. The dough has developed a bit and it doesn't stick to my hand. 
That was a good news. Let the gluten to relax at least 30 minutes. Now that the dough is smooth and elastic, time to add raisins. and candied orange peel. Here you can add anything you like. Your favorite chocolate, your favorite nuts. Once everything comes together, into the bowl and let it rest for one hour. Measure your dough, separate it into two or four, and try to gently round it up. Oil up your surface and your scraper. This is a very important part. Create tension as much as you can and transfer it into the molds. Let them rest something between 4 to 6 hours. Preheat the oven at 175 degrees Celsius. You can score it and add the knob of butter or glaze it if you like. Bake for 35 to 45 minutes. Bring your skewers, go ahead and skewer the button. That's how you can hang it upside down and let it cool down. Before you're going to cut it, panettone needs to rest at least 12 hours upside down. So I guess I'm going to see you tomorrow again. Here are some examples. Be creative. It's early morning and I'm so curious to see what I have inside. I mean, without mixer, not bad. Does it worth it? Let me try. Mmm, absolutely. <laughs> 